Okay, let me clear up a bit of a, a sort of ongoing misunderstanding that seems to originate from, um, well, mostly it's, it's those teachers or coaches associated with ABT and some New York City ballet. So let me sort this out for, for the last time and we can kind of move on. So I'll, I'll read the comment. It's, now this is um, referring to one of the videos I did with Skylar Brand. I think it was the Pirouette Insights. And so here it is. I think he should ask permission of the people he tears apart. Okay. So here's the thing. Um, that video in particular and the other one I did, this is what coaching is. I think I explained this already. So how is it? I mean, I don't, I don't understand how, where the calculation comes from that I'm tearing somebody apart. No. It's providing coaching. Right? And by the way, she has taken those corrections because I've seen clips here and there. Uh, Svetlana has shown me some clips where she's absolutely taking the corrections and doing well, by the way. Yeah, straight legs, tighter plie, things are improving. The same goes for uh, Isabella Boylston. For them because they're not getting it otherwise. They haven't gotten it, right? Look, I, I can sort of sort this quickly. There are two types of classical dancers, trained and untrained. They are untrained. They have made it as far as they have on their talent and their work ethic and their resourcefulness, if I'm being honest. They have done that. So if there is criticism to be found in what I'm saying, and that's not, the, that's not my intention, it's not criti criticizing, that's easy, anybody can do that. That's just an observation. I'm giving specific pedagogical insights. Very different thing. But if, it, if it wants, they want to construe it as criticism, well, the criticism is not for the dancer, it's for their teachers and coaches and so forth, whatever. But it's not even, that's not even what it's about either. But it, it's about, look, what, what I see when I see an Isabella or a Skyla or a Misty or, or any of the, any, any dancer, um, and I'm talking about the profession right now, these are beautiful, talented, intelligent people. If you give them the information they need, they're going to do well. They're going to take that information, put it in their bodies quickly, and make use of it. That's what dancers do. That's their job. So if I do my job really, really well, they're going to do their job really, really well. And we saw that with Misty. I mean, I, the case closed basically on this. I think there's nothing left. There, there really isn't a debate to be had. There's just, you provide what is needed, they use it, they succeed. It's that simple. And frankly, this whole line of thinking is, is, is useless and boring because, well, and there's irony, uh, of course, always. So let's just take this one comment. The criticism towards me is this, that I shouldn't comment on another person's work that they put into public, by the way, without asking them first. Well, this lady didn't ask me if she could comment on my work. You see the irony there? Now, do I, do I think she should have to ask me? No, I do not. She, she should say and do whatever she likes. I put my work into public on social media. Anybody can comment on it. Anybody can criticize it, and they do poorly, but they do. Whereas I'm not criticizing, I'm providing information that they're lacking because I want them to do well. Also, in the context of what is going on now, look, even before the pandemic, competition between girls and women in ballet is orders of magnitude greater than the competition between guys. It's just a different world for them, frankly. That's why I'm focusing on them. Because when all this shakes loose, at the end of the day, way more female dancers are going to be without jobs or have to look for a job and be scrambling around than the males are going to have to. So I'm focusing on them, I'm not picking on them, not, you know, it isn't about that. I'm an educator, I'm educating. 
and I see the results, even in this strange world of just sort of communicating through a camera and, and me just pointing out a few little things, but they took it and put it in their bodies. Imagine what could happen if we were in a studio. But we don't have to imagine because Misty already did that. We already ran that experiment and they all know what happened. And most of you know what happened and it was brilliant. So I personally don't understand what the issue is and I'm bored of it. I don't care anymore, right? So I'm ignoring any, any comment or message that is of this line, right? Of why am I not? Now, I, now, here's the other thing. What makes another adult person think that they can create rules for other adult people? Laws are one thing. We have laws, good and bad, and everything in between, and, and that's just something we deal with as a society. But on an individual basis, in a profession, so there's a context here, it's not just life, right? It's ballet, this is my profession, it's my expertise. What, I, I mean, who, who are they kidding? I don't, like, I don't know, is it, is it that the women in ballet have just gotten used to the kind of spindly, hyper-compliant men that just, I don't know, do whatever they're told, because I'm a very different type of cat. I don't do that, right? Never going to do it either. So I will conduct myself on my own podcast and, and, and everywhere else in my life the way I see fit, just like you all should live your lives the way you see fit, right? I don't think that I have the, the right or the authority to tell someone else how to live their life. I'll provide information and then it's up to them from that point forward. But I'm absolutely not going to be told how to live mine. That's not going to happen. So I'm not asking permission. I, I don't even know what, what that would mean. It, it's, it, see, there's just such a strange mentality that I just can't and don't have any interest in relating to. It, it, it's almost as if they, because the, the words that get used and they, they use these words on purpose to try to shame or something, it never works, not on me, of like, uh, well, in this case, she used a better word. It was, um, did I need to get permission or ask? And then I've also heard the word consent. It's like, we're not dating. This is not a consent situation. These individual people, performers, put their work into a public forum to be commented on. I'm qualified to comment on it. It has helped them because I've seen it. Where's the problem, right? other than the fact that the contrast between what I understand to be professionalism and maybe other people's ideas of what it is, I don't know, I don't really care either. The fact is I see that the dancers are getting the information and they're using it. That's end of story for me right there. Would it be better if everything was friendly and productive? Yeah, better for them, but either way, I'm just doing what I do anyway. Okay, so I'm not talking about this anymore.